Well, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and local nonprofits want to start an important conversation about some of the big issues they're seeing right here, right now. Here to tell us about how we can get involved in this conversation is Jill Blacks, and she's the Deputy Director of Community Care Services. Jill, thanks for being with us. No, oh, thanks for having me. So kicking this right off, first tell us about Community Care Services and the help you provide right here in Metro Detroit. Well, we're a community mental health clinic, so we help people who are you know, struggling with mental health and substance abuse issues from children all the way up to older adults. What are some of the issues you're seeing, especially this year, especially during the pandemic when it comes to mental health? Well, what we're seeing is that, you know, it was nationally one out of five, you know, people suffered with some sort of mental health issue. Now we're seeing that number closer to one out of four. This has been a tough year for everybody. So I think if you already were struggling with some mental health issues or if you never had any, a lot of people are starting to experience some of those issues right now during this time. And we've heard from so many people locally that some people are experiencing mental health challenges maybe for the first time during COVID-19. So where can they turn for help? Well, they can obviously call us and go to our website at comcareserve.org. But, you know, I think it's a good time to do a check-in and see where you're at with your mental health. And if you've never had an issue before, but you're starting to experience some depression, some anxiety, and, and it's not really going away, don't let anything stop you. The help is out there, and we want people to reach out that there's no need to suffer, and the help is out there if, if they are looking for it. That's such an important message, and I know, Jill, this can sometimes be a difficult conversation for people to have. So what do you think prevents people from seeking out that help? Well, I think there's still some stigma. You know, we work really hard. Some, there's, sometimes it's culturally, sometimes it's just, you know, a real fear of what to expect, which is why Mental Health Awareness Month and what we're providing next week in our Take Action event is we want people to know there's no need to be scared. We will walk you through it. You know, we will help break down any barriers that you may have with seeking help. So if you've never done it before, we want to be able to kind of talk people and walk people through that process and let them know what it'll look like and help link them to the help that they need. And you talked about getting rid of the stigma, so important, and there's information on your screen right now about this free virtual discuss discussion happening Wednesday evening. Can you talk about some of the topics you're gonna be bringing up during that discussion? Well, we're actually gonna let people know what will treatment look like? I think people don't always know. You might have an idea in your head what it will look like, but we're gonna talk about the barriers, how to address those barriers. We'll have a panel of experts. We're teaming up with the National Alliance on Mentally Ill Michigan, and then we'll have our own additional panel um, providers on there to just talk about what will it look like if you're looking to seek help, seek help and what can we do to help you get that help. And this event is free. It's such an important conversation. How can people sign up, Jill? They can go to our website at comcareserve.org, and that has all the information on there. It's a free event. It's easy as just clicking on, and we do want people to register um, just so we kind of know who to expect. But it's a free event, and people can go to the site and get more information and register. Such an important okay. event. Thank you so much. Jill Blackson, Deputy Director of Community Care Services, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you. We'll be right back.